Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 12, that is matter. And today I will give you a complete introduction of this unit. So my dear students, let's start uh, the unit and I will tell you that what we are going to do in this unit. So in this unit, we will study about that we have countless objects around us. Each one is different from the rest in terms of size, color, shape, weight, etc. But all these things are alike in one way. They are all matter. In this unit, you will learn about matter and its basic forms. So my dear students, because we are going to study about matter, so everything around us, the air, the trees, um, the tables, chairs, whatever you see that is around us, that is made up of matter. So in this unit, we will study about matter or we will study basic forms and we will discuss their characteristics. Ko bhi discuss karenge. So my dear students, on page number 111, all the student learning outcomes are given, which we will discuss in, um, the, uh, in this lecture or I will introduce you to the student learning outcomes with which we reading page and what we will study in that page. So my dear students, we will, in the first lecture, the students will be able to identify matter and its state. And the reading page that is included is page number 112. You will uh, identify matter and you will define it and you will also know about mass and how many states are about it and you will also know about it and you will also know which are solid liquids and gases. In lecture number two, the students will be able to recognize basic differences between states of matter such as water through physically observable properties, shape and size. So my dear students, we will learn about different kinds of matter and its different states. Solid, liquid and gas. And water exists in three states. In solid, in liquid and in gas. How it exists? How it changes its properties? In solid, in liquid and in gas. This will be discussed in lecture number two. We will discuss the solid first as a matter. And what is the formation of the molecules? Why is the solid fixed shape? This will be discussed in lecture number two. Then in lecture number three, we will again discuss the same SLO, but in this you will learn about liquids and gases. So the students will be able to recognize basic differences between the states of matter such as water through physically observable properties, shape and size. So, in lecture number two, we will learn about water in three states, that it is in solid, liquid and gas. Further, we will explain liquid and gas in lecture number 3. The reading page that is involved is page number 114. Then, lecture number 4 will be a project given on page number 118. And the students will be able to blow a balloon and inflate it. And then, we will see how the size of the size and mass will change. So, you can practically use the matter and how the gases are also a part of the matter and their shape and space and their mass will also take. This will be discussed. So, we will perform a practical project in lecture number 4. And lecture number 5 will be the chapter review. We will revise the reading pages and concepts will be revised. By the end of this lecture, I will give you an assessment sheet so that I will evaluate you. So my dear students, this chapter will be really fun. You will thoroughly enjoy this chapter. I hope you will like it. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much. And Allah Hafiz.